Hey guys, welcome to Chickenlandia. I am a backyard chicken educator here in the Pacific Northwest, but my friends know me as the president of Chickenlandia. Today, I'm going to answer a question that I get so much in my classes, in my seminars. People are always asking, how many chickens should I get? And I'm gonna answer it. Like it was yesterday. I went to the farm store to get my first batch of baby chicks and I had told the first man, my husband, I'm only gonna get four chickens. I came home with ten. <laughs> they were so cute and they were little and fluffy and luckily I had the room and I was really ready for it. A lot of people will tell me when they're first starting out they'll say you know what I'm just gonna get two chickens. And I will always recommend against that. In fact, my recommendation is to get no less than four chickens. If you start out with two and one dies, then you will have a problem. Because if they're baby chicks and you have two and one dies, the one baby chick will have a very stressful experience because they don't like to be alone. You will have to really nurture that baby chick and give them a lot of attention to keep it okay until you can find more baby chicks. And if they're not available, then it's gonna be difficult for you. The other thing is, if you have two adult chickens and you lose one, then the one that is left is at risk of getting depressed and not doing very well because chickens are flock animals. They need to be in a flock to feel good about life and we want that for them. If you only have one chicken, then you have the dilemma of adding chickens to your flock and you have to deal with a pecking order and there's a whole process to that. And that process can be stressful to both chickens and chicken owners, especially if they're new at this, it can be just more stress than you want to deal with. Every time it hails, for some reason, I'm in the chicken coop and I can't get out because it's hailing outside. So I hope that doesn't happen today, but it might. As you can see, all my chickens are hiding in their extra little space right there. That is their covered run that they have as an extra area that they can hang out in to be away from the elements when they are not in their coop. Which brings me to a very important point, and that is you should ask yourself, what kind of person am I? Am I getting chickens just strictly for eggs or am I getting them for fun? Do I want bantams? Do I want standards? Do I want a little bit of both like me? <laughs> I have chickens of all shapes and sizes. The main thing is I have enough room to have all these chickens. Generally, standard sized chickens that have access to the outside should have about four square feet of space inside the coop. Now, if you have areas outside the coop where they can be sheltered from the elements, like a covered run or lots of trees where they can get shade, where there's not rain or snow happening, then you might be able to get away with a little bit less space in the coop. But I would say the absolute minimum is two square feet per standard sized hen. And remember, that's only if they also have lots of space where they can have shelter 
outside of the coupe. Of course, you can get away with many more bantams in the same amount of space than you can with standard sized chickens. But one thing to remember about bantams is that they generally don't lay as much. They go broody a lot. And if you don't know what that means, I'm gonna put a link in the description where you can watch all about what it means to be broody and what you can do about it. When a chicken is broody, it is not gonna be laying eggs. So that's one thing to consider. Bantams are so much fun and I definitely recommend them. But you need to know that really, if you are looking to supply eggs for your family, let's say maybe you wanna supply them for your neighbors, maybe you wanna sell them, you definitely don't wanna go with too many bantams. But you should always have maybe one or two. <laughs> If you want chickens for eggs and you just want them for your family, then I would recommend starting out with one chicken per family member. Now I know that's a pretty conservative number. I think in the best case scenario, you start out small and then in the following spring, if it's just not enough for you, you can always get more baby chicks or more adult hens and then you can go from there. Now, of course, if you want to sell eggs or you want to make sure that you have enough eggs to give to your neighbors, then you're gonna to wanna to get more than just one chicken per family member. But I will always suggest to start out small because if you do that, then you will have room to grow. I think that one thing that a lot of people don't realize is that chickens have their laying life and then they have their actual life. And their laying life is not as long as their actual life. And chickens can live to be 10, 11, 12 years old in best case scenarios. The first year of a chicken's life, they are gonna lay fantastic, depending on the breed that you get. The second year, they will lay less. The third year, they will lay less. And then every year after that, it's going to be less and less until they go through henna paws. <laughs> Now I will say old chickens still create wonderful fertilizer for your garden. So I think that there is definitely a place for older chickens in your flock. I certainly have tons of older chickens and then they lay every once in a while, but not very often. It's just important for me for people to have all the facts. That way they won't be overcrowding their coop and run and their adventure in chicken keeping will be fun easy and stress-free and that's how we like it in chickenlandia if this year you're thinking about getting baby chicks there is a great video that i recommend to you i'm going to leave it right here it's all about raising baby chicks the chickenlandia way and i think it's going to be great so you should watch it and learn <laughs>